bringing the MX breaker to break up the, the foundation, which is a little crap. Along, underneath the window, up over the top of the window, back around the corner into the house. You must have had some spare cable. He must be getting paid per meter that he puts in. <laughs> Our level set up. It's plumb. This side isn't critical. I'm just going to bring. It. One, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, stumped by some flathead screws. We've got all the uh, we've got all the fancy bells and whistles, but none of them are flatheads. Mm. So you probably wonder why we're in a garage taking a shelf down. Well, it's it's July. What is it? It's twenty second, isn't it? It's twenty past eight on Monday, the twenty second of July. It's, I'm a 25-year-old now. Yep, yeah, just over a month since Alex went to Sweden. So in that whole month, he's been away, come back. Me and his mum have been away. We've done a couple of days in between, but very, very little work. So we've filmed very little as well. So um, this is our first video for a long, probably second video of the month. And it's the 22nd. Anyway, we're here. It's this garage. You can't see it over there. You can see there. Garage has moved quite a bit. So this corner is being taken down and rebuilt. The fence, you can see there, is coming down because of the other side of that. Is a very poorly wall. So this is coming down. And we're going to put new fence in from there to here. And we're going to rebuild this corner of this garage. Probably take the fascia board off and get everything lined back up. You see, as I could just see through there. So that's it today. Um, skips arrived just as we did, so that's great. So we'll remove that piece of concrete. I think it might be going the skip. We'll see what the next doors wants to do with it. We can always get rid of that for them. And um, we'll get the key for the garage and we'll move that stuff out of the way. And we'll get cracking. It's only a single wall, but it's rock hard sand and cement, and it looks like it's moved. And it's took the, took the corner of the garage with it because the, the garage made of lime. And obviously, lime moves, sand and cement doesn't. So, the walls destroyed the garage. So, we're going to get these shelves down, we're going to get around here, and we're going to start smashing things, which is a nice, nice Monday morning job. So, let's break some stuff. Keeping the brackets where everything else is going. There's our damage. You can see it's very, very weak. Weak. I've seen lime mortars weak, but that's that is just that's ridiculous. I'm just fell apart. So we're taking all this out. As you see, it's moved. The walls drag this bit off. And there's a the, um, few brick buffs out there. Ravenhead rustics. There's the rustic, and there's the raven's head. Not sure what factory they were made at, but the Ravenhead brickworks has just closed down or is in the process of closing down. I'm not sure what that is. CB, I don't know. But yeah. There's some, there's some time that they're Ravenhead, so I'm not sure. The other ones say UPHO up, on, up Holland Rustics. But uh, yeah, there's hundreds of thousands of these in this area. Because the, um, there's an Up Holland factory. That's shut up.
ridiculously strong sand and cement, ridiculously crap foundation. So the wall settled and because it's toothed into the lime built garage, it's just broke its back and just pulled the corner out of the garage. The, the bricks are disintegrated before the mortar, so that's how strong it is. Tough bricks, tough mortar. If you see when you're trying to break the bricks apart, usually the mortar goes first, but these bricks are snapping before the mortar. Well, let's crack on. Skin wall usually a bit of a pushover, but not this one. This mortar is so strong. Look at the colour of that. It's struck quite stronger than three to one. And look, even the um, the two things was half arsed. I just cut a corner off that bit and cut a corner off that bit and guys it in and put a crap brick in anyway. So that's not even tidy that well. It's tidy enough to destroy the garage light. We've got a mismatch here, and this thing was just smashing that stair trying to move it in one piece. So there you go. We'll be rebuilding this with lime mortar. So, um, sand lime and cement. So, it's going to be a lot better. So, we'll keep cracking on. It's trying to rain on us, but um, not too bad at the moment. That fence is loose. It's, this, it's dotted with screws holding the fence on. So instead of trying to get the screws out, I'll just take the, take the wall out. I'm just, I'm quite, I don't want to find much of a foundation because we've got a dig fence post through it. But um, I'm not expecting it to be much, judging by the way the wall's moved and how out of level it is. So I hope that came across on the camera then, because I've got, I've got my, head, my ear defence on so I sound really loud. I've got the mic on, but I forgot to switch the receiver on. Don't tell anyone.
There we go, the wall's down. As you can see, just a tidy up job now. Now we're taking the damaged brickwork down. Gives you a clean. So, sorry about that. No camera needs. This just needs to be a couple of seconds for a reel. Just like taking like that. That's got a screw in it. One over break. Bring a scotch back with us. Maybe we should take this pier down now. Yeah. There's quite a lot above it, so let me get a hop up and I'll take the top off it. It's, uh, it is prop as well. I've put two acros on the joists. Yeah, that one's not prop, but the front one. Well, I've got a strong boy for that. Yeah. Sorry, Barry. But as you can see, we're going to come down to here. This is all staying in. This is all coming out of this pier. Good luck. And then um, we're going to just go down to wherever it's straight. I was just started cleaning bricks. I'm going to carry on taking this bit down. And then, um, yeah, we need to get this. This front, mind you, it's on the window. The window's going to take the weight. It's only got the roof on it. Oh, it doesn't need prop, and it's sat on the window. The window will take the weight. Yeah. 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 No, we were going to take the trim off, put the um, strong bar underneath, but the the window will take the weight. Of that 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 beam, which is just the edge of the roof. So there's no weight on that. You've got this propped, so it's just that section there. So there's no weight in that. And like I say, the frame will take it. It's got it's got uh, three mullions in it, so. Yeah, we'll just get this drop down now. Have a good clear up, get these out of the way. We're getting fresh panels and then um, we'll take it from there. Are you ready Can to you catch this? It? Sorry, I didn't mean to get that out then. Too much to cut that off.
Right tools for the job. We've really gone through four, four thingy blades doing that. Yeah. I like how easy access to the garage as well. <laughs> yeah, for now. So, I think for the most part we're almost ready to actually brick clay, so we'll, um, I think Dad will go back for the lime and we'll just get, we may as well get started. Got all the sand cement here, got a mixer, all the uh, bricks are clean, ready to go. And then there's a few um, leftovers that we can use as spurs if we need to. But yeah, not, not looking too bad. What time are we on? Best. Just gone about quarter past twelve. Gary's just finished. Five past. Good news. Five's on now. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I don't know if we've uh, mentioned, but we're, we're going to look a lot smarter soon. Oh yeah, I've mentioned that. You'll there. Uh, well, more details to come. <laughs> so, little update, quick. Um, that is the plan. Dad's. Uh, yeah. Bring the grinder back. I'll put it away. Um, I'll, I'll leave it out for now because I've got some screws to cut here. Okay. So yeah, Dad is gonna go get. That's what I mean. Yeah. Dad is gonna go get the line. And now um, let's get the rest of this tidied up. These bricks we aren't using because they're more coals. We want rustics. Are you look at me. I know my brick terms now. So um, obviously some of these will need a bit more of a clean. But I'll get all this sorted out and get this cleaned up. Get me steps in too. And we're, I've done this thing called the Conqueror Challenge. And what it is is you do... You sign up for a challenge, and the one that me and Nia have done, we're going for Tomb Raider. So, as you progress through, basically the game, the but you, you travel the the distance equivalent of what Lara Croft travels in the game, and as you do, you unlock the different perks and stuff, and at the end, you get a really cool medal. So it's a little fun motivator me and Nia have got going on right now to uh, get active. So let's get some steps in. Right, it's well after lunch. Um, I've been home to pick up the lime because we, we seem to be ready quicker than we thought we would. So um, I've got the lime, I've got the saws all just in case the fence, per fence panels are getting cut down. Uh, but you'll see both sides. Let's move that boot. All this bottom section has been raked, that raked back so we can repoint that. All the loose brickwork's been taken out. Um, I've popped the fascia board off. Oh, I've just come here for this. Let me mask. Health and safety. I'm going to show off my uh, best purchase I've ever made. This is a vendor shield. And for anyone who's oh, well, why don't you get a, a mortar stone? We don't want one. And this stops all the splashing. Look at all that, it's stopped. <laughs> it's better than that in your cutting and your kisses, isn't it? Yeah, we're on the line mix. So we're doing, we've done three half and half of the uh, the big buckets. There we go. I've just taken back the loosest of the stuff, raked it back and hoovered it out so it's all ready to, ready to get pointed. I could go all the way back if I needed to because it's all very soft. The repointing is really bad so you've got to stop somewhere. Maybe the customer will decide to repoint it down the line but I wouldn't bother it, there's nothing wrong with it. Obviously this is the problem part. The um, I think we're bringing the MX breaker tomorrow to take all this concrete out. It's a bit too thick for the um, for that breaker. So we're going to sort that out tomorrow. Pick up the new fence fencing equipment and get a new post. I think we might put another post here as well actually. Just because it, it'll take it off the fascia board, you'll be able to slide the, the panel in and out then. Otherwise it's hard work getting the panel fixed. I mean you could put a piece of timber either side of it. We'll see. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just getting the grinder and just cleaning the ends of these bricks. Not to make them pretty, well half to make them pretty because the, the post is going to be there. It's just so I can get them level clamped on here to the top. 
because this um, this brickwork had moved and this fascia board had been put on against the new brickwork, as you can see. And this window's got a trim on it. It's flush at the bottom, but sticks out about 10, 15 mil at the top. So I'm guessing that's plumb. No, I'm guessing the window's plumb and this has been fitted after to go against the wonky brickwork. So that might be coming off once I've checked it. I just need a two foot level because the six footer doesn't fit obviously. So yeah, once that's all cleaned off, oh yeah, I've taken a bit out there as well. So that's getting repointed, that's getting repointed, and the bit inside, and then the brickwork obviously getting redone. So have a nice safe garage. Um, that's it. I'm going to get this grinding finished, get this level clamped on, and crack on. If you get up early enough tomorrow, we'll go and get sausage butter on the way here if you want. Are you paying? See how much I've got in my account. Mm. He's, what a he he's such a hero. Anyway. It could be an extended birthday uh, thing. Mm. Me and Mum are celebrating our 30th anniversary all year, she said. Does that mean I'm buying? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm back on filming to show you this quick setup. One of our old adjustable BT clamps. Our level set up. It's plumb. This side isn't critical, I'm just going to arrange that in and plumb that up uh, as we go. But there's the uh, fascia board just back there, but we've just popped it off so it can be put back on or readjusted. I've not not checked this yet. Because um, if, if, if it is out of plumb, that means the, the pillar's going to get smaller. So we're, yeah, here comes the first lot of gear on our trusty trade board. I think I'll be meeting these lads at the... Um, Super trial. Oh, I, th yeah. I think they're going. He's a bit late, you know. Oh, is he? Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. He's, he's, no, he's, he's doing boards twenty pounds cheaper than everyone else, though. I think because because uh, if you say he's a bricklayer, he knows that uh, we don't like putting our hands in our pockets. Yeah, don't know his name because I've not spoke to him yet. But um, that would look nice with Stephen Alex Bricklaying or at Stephen Alex Build on the board. Or our logo. Yeah, because Charlie Collins has got his board. How about us? I put Charlie Collins on to you boys. And it all worked out beautifully. Right, let's get this cracking on here. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll show them the, uh, the root of the sky cable later. Have you seen the root of the sky cable? What do you mean? It comes off the dish, into the garage, hmm. into that corner. Um, it goes down. Where does it come out? It, it goes through the wall, over the door, through the wall of the... Along underneath the window, up over the top of the window, back around the corner into the house. He must have had some spare cable. He must be getting paid per meter that he puts in. <laughs> right, let's get this set up somewhere out of the way.
passion for high quality power tools for almost 100 years. Inspired by. Sorry, uh, Robin, you're going to have to wait. There you go. Last bit of mix on the boards, which is plenty. Alex is sorting the inside out, he's doing the pointing. Well, I was until he took me a pointing trowel. Oh, you can have it back now. Okay. So, all we're doing is just throwing it in, just filling the joints flush, and then brushing it off. Well, we'll be sponging it off. So, you just rub it with the sponge and put, like, put that finish on it, basically. Like uh, the wall at Amy. Yeah, don't weather strike it, make sure the joint's completely full. Yeah, yeah. And then you can, you can sponge it out then. So I'll just give this a quick going over while it's sorted out in there. And oh, just got these last couple to put in. I hope we've got enough bricks. We're trying to keep um trying to keep the clean ones at this end. But um nothing straight. The, this the, the garage isn't square, it's out of plumb. Let me just show you how out of plumb. There you go. But it is what it is. That's what we've got to play with. And then um, what I'm doing is I'm not plumbing it, I'm ranging the top at this level. I'm just raising it into that. And then at this end, it's set plumb, well, slightly out of plumb because it's helping us on this pillar. Uh, Alex has took the trims off because um, the trims are set to the out of plumb pillar, which had moved. It's still out of plumb, but now it's out of plumb. That's as a builder, that's still my biggest struggle. Is if something's out of plumb, I get in a flat when mine's not plumb. When you when, you, when you're following it, you can't get it right, and I can't get that in my head. So you've got to use the force so, and so let I, it go. I, so I'm in a flat thinking I've, I've cocked the whole job up, but whoever built it first has cocked the job up. Yeah, the whole, the whole garage is wonky, so you've just got to blend it and make it work. As my boss said, who I served my time with, is if it looks right, it is right. You put a level on it, it's not right, but it looks right. When, you, when it's built and it's going to be a nice strong corner this and um, I'll just ask Neil if he can pop the glass out and just refix the window I don't really want to fix anything that way in case you, you um, go too far and um, pop the glass because Neil's coming back to do a little, couple of little jobs this is going back on and um, I, th I think something else as well but anyway so um, let's get these last few brick in it's just turned three o'clock, so class finished and Robin Clevitt's on now. So let's carry on. Four o'clock. <laughs> Making a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Not pretty, but it's never, it never was going to be pretty. It's prettier than it was, and it's stronger and it's safe. Yeah, that's currently got a piece of brick just holding it out the way while I got the last brick in. Um, yeah, I managed to salvage a couple of bricks. There's bits of silicon and bits of paint and stuff, but I've tried to keep all the painted ones on this side. And it, don't forget, there's a Fence post going in there. I think, unless we're fixing the panel against that wall, I have to double check that because the fence comes 
in Lamb D flag, not the wall. So we'll have to see. We might be able to just fix the panel straight to the wall, which is handy because the wall's built now. But anyway, in fact, if we do that, we'll, we'll just get away with two fully full panels. We'll just be able to, to let the panel sail past and fix it to the wall. That'd be alright, that. I'm thinking that loud here. Anyway, we'll see. Need to speak to the customer to see if they want to keep the panels and reuse them or if they want us to get new ones. We've priced for new ones, so we'll see what they say. They probably, probably keep these as spurs, maybe. They are starting to rot on the top rail. So, yeah, um, so we'll back tomorrow to do this. We're bringing the MX breaker to break up the, the foundation, which is a load of crap. Another fence post there. And we've got a little mix to do with the, with the, with the line to finish off the point in there and the and the one brick to put in and a bit of point on the inside I think. So yeah jobs are good one. so I'm gonna brush all this into a pile and uh, get out of here. Mm -hmm.